morning everyone it's Brenda Quintana here coming to you live from the beehive at cubiesquest.com uh, wasn't the solar eclipse spectacular yesterday uh, we weren't in the direct path so we didn't get the totality but we still had glasses and we looked at the Sun and it was kind of neat it looked like a full moon and so um, not a full moon like a crescent moon kind of um, but anyway it was really fun so uh, I thought that was kind of cool that um, many of us in the US got to see that yesterday um, so today is casing Tuesday and every Tuesday uh, we take a card out of that annual catalog we pick one uh, Catalina and I um, we're uh, the people that run that challenge and um, so this week was Catalina's picked and she picked a card and then we take that card and we make it our own we use the layout sometimes we use the colors of it so we use that as a starting point um, to case and case stands for copy and share everything so basically we're copying but we're changing things so sometimes when we're done our card it really doesn't even look that close to the original sometimes it looks exactly like the original sometimes I like the card so much that I just copy it just like that so um, it's kind of cool and the neat thing about this is that um, not only do I copy the card and Kalina copies the card but we have a Facebook group so you can copy the card and you can uh, share your card with us and later on we go in and uh, comment on each other's cards and stuff so it's kind of fun it's like a little bit more interactive than just me showing you something or Kalina showing you something it's something that we can all do together so um, if you're looking to join our group just make sure you look in the description of this video and there's a link to our um, group and if you uh, ask to join we will usually approve you within a day and we'll get you on there so you can see what it's all about and please feel free to jump right in and, and join us right away as uh, a lot of people just lurk and that's perfectly fine too you know it's kind of fun to see what everyone does with that same card so without further ado let's go and have a look at what this uh, week's card is and then I'll show you what my card is and then I'll show you how to make it okay so I'm gonna turn the camera around so just give me a second uh, they changed the button on me last week and so I have to find it here it is okay let me put this in down mode get this set up okay that looks pretty good let me tilt it a bit so I can see what I'm showing you. So we are casing this card this week. Get this such situated. This card right here is on page 131 of the catalog. And this one might be a little bit different than um, most of the cards that we create or tend to create have an image as a focal point. And this one has a greeting as a focal point. So if you use a greeting, you'll probably want to find something, you know, fairly substantial to put in the center so that it does catch uh, everyone's eye. Um, because when we're talking focal points, we're usually talking maybe the biggest element, the brightest element. So, you know, you're going to want something big if you're using a greeting. You could also use an image. You can just replace the image, you know, um, this greeting with an image. So you'll look for something long and skinny or maybe an image that's stamped three times or something that would look good in that space right there. Um, so I decided that I was also going to use a greeting. So I'm using, this is a Paisley, the Paisley's and Posey stamp set. And then I'm using Paisley's um, from the Paisley's Framelits. So I just kind of did a, a greeting as well. And um, I used the Naturally Eclectic Designer Series Paper Pack. And so I kind of created, it's kind of similar to the original. Let me grab this so we can side by side it. It's kind of a little bit like the original in terms of the greeting and then having um, secondary elements that frame the greeting, but it, it does look different. It's not exactly the same. So let me show you how I put this card together. 
so let me move that out of the way so these are the paisley's framelits that we're using and this is the paisley's and posy stamp set and this one was uh, originally out of the holiday catalog from last year and it was so popular it is now in the annual catalog so right now you can't buy these as a bundle anymore um, but they're both available separately so I think the best way to tackle this card, I kind of looked at it this morning, I think would be to do all of our die cutting and um, our um, embossing first. So let me put that to the side and grab in our big shot right here. Oh, and I just want to say a general hello to everyone. And thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm throwing stuff around here. Okay, so let's do the um, die cutting first. I've got my platform here and the newer platform comes in two pieces. And so you'll want your thin die adapter on top of your base plate because we're cutting thin dies. And then you'll put down a cutting plate. And then we're going to use this paisley right here. We need to cut this twice. So once we need to cut it in Emerald MV, and then we need this piece here, that's going to be our filler piece, and we're going to cut that in Lemon Lemon Twist. And then we're going to need this little leaf right here, and we're going to cut that twice as well. So I'm just going to put this down. I'm going to leave, my second paisley is going to be in Pool Party, so I'm just going to leave this on the Big Shot for now. And I'm just going to run this through. So, whoa. All right. So, we need to run uh, the leaf through a second time. So, let me grab this as the little leaf and put that aside for now. We've already cut that, and this one just kind of popped up. And now the pieces are falling apart. And for this, I don't actually need um, uh, all the pieces, I just need the framework. So, um, you can just, I'm going to take my little paper piercing tool and just poke it. You could also use your, um, oh, what's it called? The die brush, you know, to get all the little pieces out. You could do that. I'm going to poke them. I know. I probably should have gotten the die brush, right? It's all the way across the room now. So I'm just going to poke these little guys. It's faster if you do the die brush, but okay. So you get the idea. This is, um, you want all those pieces out because you want the, the framework for um, uh, this piece because we're going to fill everything in with the lemon lime twist and the soft sky piece. So I'm just going to set that one aside for a moment. Let's have a look. So when you do this, just make sure, like pop over your framelit and make sure that you get all your little paper chads out because otherwise they kind of get stuffed in there, but that looks pretty good. So that one will be ready to run through and pull party again. And then we have this piece right here, which is our filler piece. And we only need to, one of those, so we don't need to run that through again. So now we just need to run the pool party piece and the Emerald MV piece through one more time. Okay. So if you have any questions for me, I will scroll up and double check them at the end. So please, like if, if you see something, you're questioning what the heck I'm doing, just let me know. Um, and I will answer the questions at the end of the video. Um, so here's the second little leaf I need. And then I need this piece, but I need specific pieces from it. So I need this little stripey piece right here it's kind of a scallop I need that and I need this one too those are the only two pieces I'm using from the pool party piece but I need to make sure I reserve those so I'll just set that aside and get the rest of that paisley out afterwards we also need to die cut not die cut we need to emboss a piece and um, this is soft sky cardstock, and I've cut this piece to four and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. If you don't catch my measurements during the video, 
please look at the description of this video and I have a link to my blog and that has a little box um, and it has all the measurements that you'll need. Then I'm just going to pop this into my sparkle embossing folder and let me get this set up correctly. So now we don't need the thin die adapter anymore. We need the platform, the base, and because that's how we emboss. And then we're going to put down a cutting plate and I need my second cutting plate and we'll put that on top and then we can run this through. Okay, so now we have the piece all embossed. I just love embossing. It's so cool because it's like hardly any work and you get such great effects. All right, so now the other pieces that we're going to need for this card are we need a card base and I'm using thick Whisper White cardstock when I do my card base. Regular Whisper White is a little bit too thin. So um, this card base is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches and it is scored at the four and a quarter inch mark. And then um, I've folded it along the score line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this piece that I just embossed and I'm gonna take some Tombow. Tombow's my go-to adhesive. Let's just get this going. And I'm gonna just run a little bit of Tombow on here. And I'm just going to take this and center it. The original card had this piece a little bit skewed, like a little bit on an angle. But when I looked at it, I decided I wanted this one straight because my little sparkles were a little bit on an angle. So I didn't want to add too many weird wonky angles to it. So, um... oh, hello, Amy. Sorry, I, I don't want to single people out anymore, but I just saw my friend Amy from Tennessee. So that's so cool that you're you're here. Um, it's so nice to catch up with old friends on here. Okay, um, and uh, here's a piece of naturally eclectic designer series paper. And I've cut this piece to four and a half inches by one and one eighths inches. And so I am going to put this on here with my glue and I'm putting it on at a bit of an angle right at the top. That looks pretty good. See this gets me out of my comfort zone because I tend to want to put everything on a card straight. So when I'm copying a card it helps me um, not do what I normally do. Okay now we need to stamp the focal point and this piece is four inches by one and one eighth inches. And I'm going to use my Emerald MV ink pad. Open this up. And I've got this greeting. I love this greeting. Um, it says, thankful, what does it say? Thankful, grateful, blessed. So ink that up. And I want this centered on my card. Or on my layer perfect and if you ever stamp something it doesn't look good flip it over to the other side and try stamping again um, because um, you know you've kind of got usually you've got two shots if you're on a, a layer piece um, and if you're having trouble with stamping things straight get yourself some practice paper and practice because I've been doing this for many years. So if you're new to this and you're like, oh, I'm, my things are always crooked, give yourself a chance to, to practice because that's the way I got better at it. So this layer is going to kind of go on here pretty straight. Decided that that one was gonna be straight. So I'll put some Tombow on it. And then I just need to kind of situate it. I want enough of that paper to show in the background, but I also want it partly covered. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we've got to get this little paisley assembled. So this is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. So this paisley fits in here, but there's just a little bit of room. So there's not a lot of overlap on the edges. So I decided the best way to adhere this was to get 
let me get these little chads away because otherwise they might peek back through. Okay, the best way to get this piece stuck onto here was to put Tombow on these cross pieces. So what I did, get some Tombow going, is I put Tombow right here and I know it might squeeze out just a wee bit, but that's probably the biggest contact point you have for this. So I'm gonna put this on here on the back and then I'm going to flip it over to the front and I'm going to be really sure that I don't have any spaces sticking out like any um, you know holes if you want take a tissue get rid of some of that excess glue okay that looks pretty good and then we're going to take our little pool party pieces and we're going to stick them in so you're just going to have to make have a look to make sure you're putting them in the right way so I'm going to put some Tombow let me hold it up to camera a little better in this little space right here and then I'm going to grab this little one this one's a little easier to tell which way is the right way and if you don't like Tombow, you could also use, um, we've got that clear glue, that fine tip glue pen. You could use that if you wanted. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow in here. And I'm hoping I'm putting this in the right way. I think this is the right way. So that just makes the paisley look a little better. And I see right here one of these little chads decided it wanted to stay. It's got to go. All right. So that's the paisley. It's almost completely done. We're still going to add a gem in the corner. But first, let's glue this down. So I'll just put a little bit of Tombow on the back of this. And then I can add this over the side like that. Then I've got my little leaf pieces. And on the other card, it had some things down here. But when I was putting the card together, I put the leaves in different spots and I like them a little bit more up top here. So oh, I'm throwing stuff around. Let me put my adhesive on the leaf. And I'm going to stick this up here like that. And then take some Tombow and put some adhesive right here. Come on, stick. All right. So then all we need to do is add some gems. Oh, and we need to do Baker's Twine too, but let's add the gems first. And I'm gonna use my paper piercing tool to hopefully get this off. I'm going to kind of just push down. I want to make sure I get that all the adhesive off um, the back. And then I'm going to stick the big one right here. Actually, I think maybe, did I do a medium-sized one before? Yeah, I did a medium-sized one before. But you know what? Let's see. Do I like it or do I need to go to a medium? Hmm. hmm. I think it looks okay. I, this one up here, the finished card, has a medium one. Let's do one with a bigger, the bigger gem. These gems come in three um, different sizes, and they've been on the back order list a few times already since um, they came into the new catalog in July. They've been that popular. And then I'm going to grab one of these small guys. So again, I'm just kind of taking my paper piercing tool, making sure that adhesive is coming off with it. Okay, and then I've got it on the end there, and then I can stick that down on my leaf like that. Then I thought I would kind of um, stick with the theme of the card and go back and have some uh, twine on there. You notice the original card, it, they actually wrapped twine around the base 
Have you ever wrapped twine around the base and tried to tie a nice little bow at the end? It's really, really hard to do. Um, it's probably even harder to do on camera. Like I could probably do it and make it look nice, but it would take me a while to fuss with it. So I'm sacrificing the little bit of tie twine over here on the side because I did not wrap any twine around my card. But I'm gonna bring in um, a bow. So I use this um, pool party uh, baker's twine and it almost, it's almost like soft sky. It's very, very close. So I think it, it works. So I'm just going to take my little bow and I need to uh, grab a mini glue dot. And the best way I found to do this, I, I find a mini glue dot and it's too big. Like it is almost a quarter inch in diameter. So I take my um, paper piercing tool and I kind of roll it up a little bit so it makes it a little smaller. And then I bring it onto my project where I'm gonna stick the knot of my bow and I stick it down right there. So it's kind of like a, I don't know if you can see that. It's like, it's just a little tiny glob of stickiness and then I can just stick my knot of my bow right on top of there and it will stay there. And that way I, um, it's not quite as big because if I kept it in its circular shape, it would probably stick out a little bit. So. That's how I could get that on the card. And there's the card. So, you know, and this is one of the reasons why I like Casing Tuesday, because I don't generally design cards like this. This is not really my style, but I've just created a card that's totally out of my style zone, and I love it. You know, um, I, I have trouble creating cards like this. I like a cleaner look when I'm designing, but now that I've cased it out of the catalog, I've got a card that, you know, I've done, you know, it, it looks somewhat like the original, but not really, you know, so it's kind of neat that I've just created this card and, you know, it looks, um, it looks different and it got me out of my comfort zone and maybe next time I'll be able to create a card that is outside of my comfort zone right from scratch. Let me turn myself around. Okay, just hold on one second. Okay, I am back. So um, if you need information on the card that I just made, check down in the description of this video because I have the link and you can go there and click on it and it should all be all be there. The Casing Tuesday Facebook group link is on there as well. What else can I tell you? Um, I will post this video to YouTube later on, but it will be available on my Facebook page right now. So if you miss the beginning of it, you can go back and watch the beginning. Um, that's about it. Let me scroll um, and see if I have any questions. Um, and good morning to everyone that joined me this morning. Um, and uh, I hope you all have a great day. Let me see if there's any questions. Someone, uh, Janie said she loves the gems. And I agree. I, I think the gems are just, they're, they're really cool. They're very sparkly and they've got all these little faucets so they make a project really sparkle um let me see if there's anything else no i just got some comments that you love my card and thank you so much and thank you so much for joining me i will be back here next tuesday again i'm going to do another card um I'm, it's always at 10 a.m eastern standard time on on tuesdays so if you're around please join me and if you're not around you can always catch the recording later on either on my facebook page or on youtube YouTube a little bit later on in the day. So thank you so much for joining me and have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.